inside information. Inside information. So blow us up. Blow us up. Michael Copps, um, you're the longest serving member in the FCC, you retired in 2012. Why do you see this ruling as a threat to equality on the Internet? Well, this is all about making sure that the Internet, which is the most transformative communications technology in all of uh, history, really serves the people and consumers. And we are playing very fast and very loose with it right now and turning it into the playground of the few and turning it over to uh, big companies, consolidated companies that are able to exact tolls for content producers and their friends and the people who can afford to pay for those fast lanes. What's, what you're really seeing here is kind of a transformation of the Internet where 1 percent get the fast lanes and the 99 percent get, uh, get the slow lanes. That's not what the potential and the promise of the Internet was. And to shackle it now and to not have clear rules of the road going ahead to make sure that we all have access and that we're not being ripped off and that these companies aren't just managing scarcity for their own benefit. If we let that happen, we have really undercut the potential of this transformative technology. This has to be stopped. And when I used to talk about media consolidation on in radio and television, I think a lot of folks thought, well, the, the Internet is somehow exempt from that. It's so dynamic uh, that uh, it's exempt from what happened to radio and television and cable with all of the consolidation and gatekeeper control. Now people are beginning to realize, wait a minute, this is happening to this wonderful new transformative technology, too. We can't afford to let it go down that same road. What a horrible denial of the opportunity creating potential of the Internet it would be to cableize it. And of course, who better to cableize the Internet than the biggest cable company uh, uh, in the United States of America, uh, Comcast, as they seek to take over Time Warner Cable and already took over NBCU. Uh, now we can't afford to go down that road. We need an informed public. We need open news. We need journalism that these companies are also uh, 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 limiting. Uh, it's a sad, uh, it's a sad story right now. But we do have an opportunity here. We need to say, no blocking, no discriminating, no speeding up, no slowing down, and put it in that part of the law that allows the commission to do it. Get it over and done with. Everybody will know what the rules are.